Hey guys, it's Kim, aka Spartan Stitcher on Instagram, and you are here with me today on the 6th of January, 2020, and as you can hear, I have a cold. Um, I really didn't think I'd be able to, to film today, because yesterday I had a low-grade fever and only got about four hours of sleep, and I felt like crap, but um, even though I may sound like crap now, the fever's gone. The sinus pressure is gone, so all I have is residual congestion and, uh, yeah, mucus. But um, I still wanted to, to keep on my filming schedule since I, I felt better. Even though I didn't uh, get much stitching done this week, and I'll talk about that, but I have um, something else to show you instead. So, the stitching I did do this week... Um, first of all, because of my start on Star Wars, um, right before the new year, and because I had family in town, come New Year's Day, I just didn't feel like starting anything. So that, uh, Mill Hill Buttons and Beads kit of the Winter Stag that I told you that I was going to start, I didn't. And, uh, yeah. Ann P. of Fiber Floss and, uh, Fiction Podcast, she gave me permission I'm like, I really don't feel like starting it. So she said, don't St stitch what you want. So I didn't, I didn't get a new start. Um, but that means I'm going into 2020 with 19 whips. That's all right with me. We're coming out of 2019 with, tw with 19 whips. So that's fine. I'm happy with it. Um, instead of the new start, I worked on the January release of the um, catalog of Witches Familiars. Uh, for the familiar Sal from Ingleside Imaginarium, uh, Brittany. Um, I showed you that I had the orange uh, gas thread for this, but I do not have the blue one yet. So since I um, thought that orange one would work for my Witch's Tea Time, I went ahead and put that in with that uh, whip. And so this is only the DMC for the January release. So there's still bits missing. Let me show you up close here. Um, so the, the um, gassed orange will go in his eyes and his mouth. And then there's a blue variegated um, gentle arts that goes here in, the, in these candles and around the flames. Um, so, and I had Julie from Reflections include a skein of each. Um, she should be shipping that with my uh, snowy from hands-on design um pattern that she ships to me so i was like i need threads anyways just go ahead and throw them in and we'll get them all at once so once those get here i will finish up this block work some more on the border hopefully get february ready before february comes along and keep chipping away at the top portion here so that's where i am on the familiar cell and he looks pretty cool, even even incomplete. Um, so uh, I haven't done the the back stitching yet because I need to do the the fancy floss. So he'll have back stitching on his face, and then um, it's not Felix that I said last week. It's Felis after the uh, Latin name, I believe. So really enjoying that. And then after I did him, I picked up. Macintosh Mill Dimensions Kit, artwork by uh, Charles Wysocki. This is my 20 and 20 piece for Full Coverage Fanatics and also I'm um, using it um, for the National Parks. I only put in 950 stitches or thereabouts um, because I am finishing up my job as a Ravenclaw Greeting Prefect in the School of Magical Stitches and Literature. Um, which means once one January hit, we were able to do all of the year seven, um, extra credit and reading tasks and as well as the ultimate stitching, ultimate reading, extreme stitching, extreme reading and outrageous, uh, headmistress stitching challenge. That's a lot of events to grade. Um, I'm proud to say that, uh, mainly with my, my fellow uh, grading team Cassie from uh, Cassie Stitches um, or Cassie Martine. I forgot what her channel name is. It's Cassie. Cassandra. Um, I'll link her channel below, of course. 
um, but we've been really kicking it into high gear trying to get the graining done as quickly as possible um, so we finished year seven except for week nine the short week that Vicky's gonna gonna grade we finished year seven all the extra credit stuff um, by the 4th of January when previous years has taken us two weeks to get through it and um, we're within a day or two of getting all the ultimate extreme and outrageous done um, I was working on ultimate today and I got blocked even trying to space out my comments five minutes apart um, so we're filming instead so I got 950 stitches in this one um, here in the cobblestone of the building this light tan right here or light tan light gray and uh, which is also the same gray in here uh, there's some white for a, a fence gate there's white here did some green down here so it doesn't look like 950 stitches but it's all spread out there's 950 and I did more of the border down here as well um, so hopefully this week I will get all the grading done I will no longer be a Ravenclaw prefect I am NOT a hotel manager or a concierge for magical stitches for 2020 so I will get to stitch more I feel behind though because everyone's getting all gung-ho about you know getting getting stitches done for the parks in full coverage fanatics and I don't even have a thousand stitches done yet um, but I will get there I gotta get grading done first um, so I'll work more on this uh, this upcoming week and I'll probably also pull out uh, Kindred Spirits which is another of my pieces that I've selected for January uh, that's a Hade with the two horses on it um, I'm also going to be working on a summer ball but since this one and a summer ball are both full cross um, I want to have a little bit of a break between them and do some do some tent stitch that tends to go a little bit quicker so I'll work more on this, do some on Kindred Spirits. Um, I might pull out one of my non-full coverage too for some uh, variation, some variety. Um, if you're like me, I have a ton of videos in my <coughs> excuse me in my watch later list due to everyone doing their year in review, 2020 plans, etc., etc. So here's your hint, and I know other floss tubers have talked about this before. You need to hit the you know, touch the screen and go to the little settings that pops up and change your video speed to however fast you can watch it and still understand the person talking. Um, most of the people that I watch, I, I speed it up to 1.5. Um, there's some people that talk too fast and I can't understand them, like Nicole Buckeye Stitcher and Emma from Stitch M. Um, I can only put them to 1.25. Um, but then some of the southerners I can I can move up as far as to uh, 2.0 speed so it's okay we won't have our feelings hurt I know you have a lot of videos to watch and you want to watch everybody and see what their plans are and, and whip parades and such so up your your uh, video speed so you can get through more videos in a short amount of time without it being one-to-one -one ratio you can get through more um, let's see I've had a couple comments asking about the painting over my head. This is not a stitch piece. Um, this is an actual print, I'm guessing. Um, the artist, I'm going to move you up a little bit so you can see. There you go. That's the full piece. Uh, the artist is Arthur, Arthur I. Elsley, I believe. The middle initial might, might be different, but it's Arthur Elsley. Um, I have found some of his artwork in the Art of Antiquity section on Hade's website. Um, I don't know if Golden Kite or uh, any of the other ones have his artwork. I have not been able to find this one. I don't think um, the rights have been given for this particular print. Um, but most of his other artwork has children and dogs in it. Um, so if you're interested in, in this artwork, uh, you can look through the Art of Antiquity section for that. Um, I really do like this piece. This is one of those cases where uh, everybody has someone in their family or, or close family friend that always buys something they think you need, even though it's not something you really asked for. In my case, it's one of my uncles on my mom's side. 
Um, he's a horrible gift giver for, for everybody in the family. Um, and, and buys what he thinks you need. Like, you know, I'm going to, going to college or graduating and graduating high school. And he gives me, um, a toolbox kit because everybody needs to have tools in their house. Uh, but this is actually the best gift he's ever given me. This was, um, I think it was a graduation present, um, from high school. So he bought it completely like this, framed and everything. So I'm guessing he probably, he, he likes to thrift. So it wouldn't surprise me if he found it at a thrift store, but I don't care. I really like this because I like the style and of course it's horses. And my, my guest room that you're in is all uh, horse related. So uh, Arthur Ellsley. Um, you can look up his artwork on Google. Get familiar self, familiar, familiarize yourself with it. And then go to the Art and Antiquity section on Hade And see which of his pieces are um, actually charted if you're interested. So that's all I have for you now. What I'm going to do since I can't pause the video and flip the camera I don't think um, I'm gonna try it but if I can't I am going to show you my crafting closet um, so you might have to click to a second video or it might just go automatically there um, so I'm gonna show you my my crafting closet and how I have everything organized um, so if you're interested in that you know, you can stick with this or go to the part B of the video, part two of the video, however I label it. Um, if not, I will see you next week. Hopefully I will sound better. Uh, no Air Force stories today. If you are following world news, my husband is doing fine. Um, he is working much longer days. Um, so we'll leave it at that for now because this is a public video. So... Uh, everybody have a good stitching week and I will see you next week.